I don't see myself going back. Not because I don't like back home, it's just... I think I'm doing something better here, you know. That was the reason why I decided to stay here. So I never thought I'm going to be here for 21 years. It's just, it just happened, you know. You go with the flow. I moved to Shanghai in 2002 uh, to open a new restaurant in a new complex called Chintiani. It all just started there, you know. Um, and it was very good. The, the job was for one year, and the year finished, and I really like here, and I make good friends with some people in here, so we decided to open a new restaurant, my own place called Azul, and that was in 2003. And from that time, we just stay and so I never thought I'm going to be here for 21 years. It's just, it just happened, you know? You go with the flow. Since 2002 to now, I open around 25 restaurants. Since in the last 21 years, 25 restaurants. Some still alive, some closed. Now we have in total seven now. And it's going okay, yeah. So it's a patch. It's, it's not a job for me, it's the way of, my way of life, yeah. Shanghai is um, described as a city with, you know, with full of life. And Shanghai is a very international city. So that's why uh, Shanghai attracted me. The great thing about Shanghai is that you're able to interact more with people because of that common ground of you not being from this place and you get a chance to meet someone from Colombia, you meet someone from Russia, Turkmenistan, you meet someone from Egypt, all these parts of the world and the beauty in that is that Shanghai really amplifies that feeling of, of the world being small because it's so easy to interact with other foreign people and you begin to realize that we're very different, but we're very similar. I think it's hard for you to get bored here, you know? You never know when you're gonna do something new, you know, when you're gonna meet someone new, when you're gonna go to a new place, when you're gonna try a new dish. Yeah, that's, that's the magic of Shanghai. Hello. Let's go, hi, hi, five. How are you? Good? Are we gonna say hello? Hello, my name. Hello, I'm on the, hello, hello. Uh-uh. Well, the so we're gonna show Well, if you don't like kids, don't try it. If you don't have patience, if you cannot be funny, silly, serious sometimes, know how to control your voice, don't. It's not for everybody. There is not much difference between being a teacher and a football coach. The only difference is a football. You guys have fun today? Yes. Wanda Kaishima. Yes, awesome. Let's go, let's go. Like I said, I come from a very tiny island and uh, being part of this, being able to you know grow in this that's how like i feel like shanghai china helped me so far you know so what makes me call this place a home is the fact that although i'm far from home i don't miss home that much i miss my mom a lot you know and i'm planning to see her soon love you mom and uh but yeah when it comes to what you call home home that's Shanghai for me now, <laughs> yeah. When 
I just started here, I had this cultural shock because in my country, when you say hello, you kiss. So when you say hello to a girl, hi, ma, ma, you know, here you don't. And 20 years ago, you don't. The most common question, of course, is ni, ni, ni Alida. Like the first question that I'm definitely going to ask is, you know, where are you from? So what I love most about Shanghai is just, man, everything except the weather. Yeah, <laughs> everything except the weather. <laughs>